Igisem. Igisem. We're here we with here Mark Baer. We're on top of the mountains of Alsace. And you're looking down on Igisem. And the plain of Alsace. And the plain of Alsace. Uh, to the left, the, we have the city of Colmar. Uh, and so we have the village over here. What is that? Vettelsheim. Vettelsheim. And further down? Well, further right, left, 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 you will have uh, Riboville, Rigvia. Riboville. 20 kilometers. And then Turkheim. Turkheim is behind the hill. Huh? So here we go. This is the way it winds down. All the wineries are at the foot, or as we say, the bench land of the Vosges Mountains. Of the Vosges Mountains. Now, and the it, sister mountains of the Vosges is how about to this is the Black Forest. The Black Forest is across. Which is in Germany. Germany. Huh? So we can see Germany from here. And after the the forest you see in a plain mm -hmm. goes the Rhine River. And the Rhine River is right there, you can see it. Yeah, you have a little white finger there. This tower is on the Rhine River. Ah, very good. Huh? Yes. And if you go uh, right hand, you see the Black Forest goes down, down, down. Yes. And when the low point is Basel, Switzerland. That's Basel, so we can and see then Switzerland. right hand you will see the Jura Mountains going up again. Ah, the Jura Mountains. Uh -huh. And at the base of the Gironde, you have the Savoy and Jura Absolutely. regions. And between the low point Basel, when it's very, very clear, you see the Alps. So you can see the Swiss Alps from here. Absolutely, yeah. So Basel sweeping through the Black Forest Mountains and the Rhine River all the way through Germany. There we see the village of Igisnein. And to your left, the more metropolitan area of Colmar. Small villages where the wines of Alsace and the Alsatian wine route will go at the foot of the famous mountains of the Vosges and of course the famous castle of Igisenheim. This castle built in 11th century and it's a long time ago. It's built 1000 years ago. Huh? And let's take a look at the grapes. We have beautiful grapes now starting to come under, and this variety is... Now you see the light green leaf, that means it's a grape which could be Pinot Blanc or Riesling. So we know we're looking at Pinot Blanc or Riesling. And this is Pinot Blanc, in fact. And in fact, it is Pinot Blanc. Mm. So... And you see the other there, uh, over here, dark green. Yes. This is Gewurz Samina. On the left now, the difference, the, take a look at Pinot Blanc, and we're going to move along and we're going to take a look at, a very close look at Gewürztraminer and along the way some wild blackberries. Huh? So here we go. Now we go into a row and we have again, we have the one meter separation. We're bench land side of the mountains. Here you see the Gewürztraminer. And there's the Gewürz a dark green leaf and a round leaf. Huh? Quite and round. So a little bit of white on here. What is that white powder? Well, that can be uh, sulfur or uh, copper. Copper sulfite, that huh? could be there to resist any odium or any molds or any mildew, type of mildew that can form. Um, and there's our grape, there's Gewürztraminer in early stages. Small grape with little small berries. This is Rick Garcet with Mark Baer from Alzheimer's.